Fungi are essential for the well-being of most terrestrial ecosystems because they break down organic material and recycle vital nutrients. Fungi are saprotrophs, which are heterotrophs that absorb nutrients from outside of their bodies. Most fungi have cell walls made of chitin, which is also the component of insect exoskeleton. The most common body structures are multicellular filaments and unicellular yeast. Some species grow as either filaments or yeast, others grow as both. The multicellular filament is known as hyphae, which are classified into two forms. Septae hypha is divided into individual cells by porous plates known as septa. Therefore, septae hyphae are uninucleated. On the other hand, sinocytic hypha lacks septa. Therefore, they are multinucleated. Networks of branch hyphae are known as mycelia. Fungi can propagate themselves by producing fast number of spores, either sexually or asexually. Fungal nuclei are normally haploid. During asexual reproduction, mycelium give rise to spore-producing structures, which produces spores through mitosis. Spores eventually germinate into multicellular mycelium. During sexual reproduction for multicellular fungi, two parent mycelia fuse their cytoplasm in a process known as plasmogamy. However, the haploid nuclei from each parent do not fuse right away. They coexist in a structure known as heterocaryon. Later on, during karyogamy, the haploid nuclei fuse, producing diploicygote, which quickly undergoes meiosis to produce haploid spores, which then germinate into multicellular mycelium. Fungi engage in various symbiotic relationships with other organisms. Mycorrhizae refers to mutually beneficial symbiotic relationships between fungi and plant roots. It involves specialized hyphae. There are two types of mycorrhizae. Arbuscular mycorrhizal fungi contains a specialized hyphae known as Haustoria, which penetrates through the cell walls of root cells and into tubes formed by invagination of root cell membrane. Ectomycorrhizal fungi form sheets of hyphae over a root and also grow into the extracellular spaces of root cortex, but they do not penetrate plant cells. Fungi are most closely related to unicellular protist nucleorids. An early group of fungi known as chytrids, which are found in lake and soil, have flagellated spores known as zoospores that resemble nucleorids. One species of chytrids, known as Betracochytrum dendrobatidis, are known to cause disease in amphibians. Psychomycetes, which include the common bread black molds, may reproduce asexually by the spore-producing sporangia or sexually through the heterocaryotic psychosporangia, which are resistant to freezing and drying and can survive unfavorable conditions. Glomeromycetes are a group of fungi, are known to form arbuscular mycorrhizae with 90% of plant roots through specialized hyphae known as Haustoria, which penetrates plant cells, as mentioned a moment ago. Ascomycetes, also known as sac fungi, live in marine freshwater and terrestrial habitats. Some ascomycetes are unicellular yeast. Other multicellular ascomycetes, such as neurospora, may reproduce either asexually through specialized hyphae known as conidial force, which produces asexual spores known as conidia, or sexually through heterocaryotic fruiting bodies known as ascocarps, which contain structure known as acci that produces sexual ascospores. Ergot fungi refers to a group of ascomycetes that belongs to the genus Claviceps, including Claviceps purpurea, which grows on rye and related plants and produces alkaloids that can cause ergotism in humans which may result in convulsions or severe facial constrictions. Ascomycetes also includes a species known as Candida albicans, which are opportunistic pathogenic yeast that may cause vaginal infection. Lastly, a group of Ascomycetes known as Penicillium produces penicillin, which serves as an antibiotic as it inhibits bacterial peptidoglycan cell wall. Lastly, most of the mushrooms we eat belong to the phylum Basidiomycetes, also known as club fungi. They only reproduce sexually through heterocaryotic fruiting bodies known as basidiocarps, which contains club-like structures known as basidia that produces sexual spores known as basidiospores. Deuteromycetes refer to fungi with no known sexual stage. As mentioned earlier, fungi form various symbiotic relationships with other organisms. Besides mycorrhizae, Plants also harbor symbiotic endophytes that live inside leaves or other plant parts.
Endophytes make toxins that deter herbivores and defend against pathogens. Some fungi share mutualistic symbiotic relationship with animals. In grazing mammals, fungi may help break down cellulose derived from plant cell walls. Many species of ants and termites use digestive power of fungi by raising them in farms. A lichen is a symbiotic association between photosynthetic microorganisms and fungus. Green algae provide carbon compounds through photosynthesis. Cyanobacteria provide organic nitrogen. And the fungi, typically Ascomycetes, provide the environment for growth, including water and minerals. The fungi of lichens can reproduce sexually and asexually. Asexual reproduction is by fragmentation or the formation of sauridia, which are a small cluster of hyphae with embedded algae. Lichens are important pioneers on new rock and soil surfaces. About 30% of known fungal species are parasites, mostly on or in plants. The general term for a fungal infection in animals is mycosis. For example, athlete's foot is a common skin infection of the feet caused by a number of different fungi.